This is a Raspberry Pi 5. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Ubuntu on an SD card and boot it on the Raspberry Pi 5. Ubuntu 23.10 now supports Raspberry Pi 5. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the Raspberry Pi website, click on software, scroll down and click download to download the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm gonna save that to my hard drive. In this example, I'm using Windows, but there's an imager for Mac OS as well as Ubuntu. Once it's installed, I'll click on that say yes to run the imaging software, click install to install it, and then run the imager. Okay, first thing you need to do is choose the type of device that you're installing the operating system on. In my example, it's gonna be, once again, a Raspberry Pi 5. So I'm gonna select the Raspberry Pi 5. The operating system to install, and you have various options here, you could choose Raspberry Pi OS, but what I'm gonna do is choose a general purpose OS, so the option is other general purpose OS, and I'm gonna select Ubuntu desktop. You could install server if you wanted to, but in this example, I'm gonna install the desktop version of Ubuntu 23.10 again. You have to specify a SD card. So in this example, I've got a 64 gig SD card, which I'll insert into my computer. I can select that in the Raspberry Pi installer. So back on the Ubuntu website, what you can see here is for Ubuntu 22043 LTS, we need 16 gig of storage. They're not showing us that for 23.10, so I'm assuming it's something very similar. Scrolling down, you can see that Ubuntu 22043 LTS is supported on all of these devices, but that doesn't include the Raspberry Pi 5. We need Ubuntu 23.10, which doesn't run on the Pi 2 or Pi 3, but does run on all of these Pis. So I would assume that you need at least 16 gig of storage space, probably better just to get a bigger one because SD cards are not that expensive these days. So I'm gonna click next. And then we're told that this will erase all data on the SD card. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to install the software. And as you can see, it's writing now. Now this will take a while to write and verify. So now's a good time to go and get a coffee or something. Medium coffee, cream, two sugars. I think I'd like to try a cappuccino today. But through the power of editing, let's speed this up. Okay, there you go. Ubuntu desktop 23.10.64 bit has been written to the SD card. We can now remove that. So I'll click continue and close this. Take the SD card out of the computer and I'll insert it into the Raspberry Pi. I was previously running Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi, but in this example, I've now got Ubuntu. So what I can do is connect a monitor. In my example, I'm gonna be using OBS. So I've got this connected to my laptop so that I can record the screen and you can see what I'm seeing. I'll plug in my keyboard and mouse. So that's plugged in now. For this example, I'll connect ethernet to the Raspberry Pi and then I'll connect a power source. So hopefully that'll start up now. Fan has just started and hopefully we'll see on screen in a moment that the Raspberry Pi is booting. And there you go. We can see it's booting up. You can see Ubuntu on screen now. Now, because I've got it connected to ethernet, it's going to be able to start the network. Okay, so now we asked for system configuration, specify our language. I'm gonna specify English. In this example, I've got a UK keyboard. I have the pound sign here as an example. So I'm going to use that keyboard. You would specify the keyboard that's relevant to yourself. Time zone, I'm in London, so I'm gonna say continue. Specify my name, so I'll just say David. And then I need to specify a password. So in this example, I'll specify some kind of password. It's a weak password, but that's okay for this demonstration. You should use a good password and I'm automatically going to log in. You probably don't wanna do that if you want more security, but this is just a lab. So I'm going to automatically log in and click continue. And as you can see, we told welcome to Ubuntu. It's configuring the keyboard and other settings. Hardware is being configured. Changes are now being applied. Okay, and there you go. I have got Ubuntu running on this Raspberry Pi. One thing I have noticed about Ubuntu is the fan spins up and remains spinning the whole time, unlike Raspberry OS or Kali Linux where it dies down, but this is continuing to spin. I'm gonna skip setting up online accounts. I'm not gonna send system info, click next, and I'm gonna click done. Okay, so first thing I'll do is open up a terminal, make this a bit bigger ls underscore release dash a. 
you can see that we're running Ubuntu 23.10. I'll use sudo apt update to update my references, put in my password. References are now being updated. Now, 28 packages can be upgraded, so you might want to run sudo apt upgrade to upgrade those packages. But for the moment, I'll just clear the screen and type sudo apt install open SSH server so that I can connect to the server remotely. So clear the screen again, IP address, the address on this server, I'll make this a bit smaller actually because it's quite large. So clear the screen again, up arrow, IP address is 192.168.0.213 on the ethernet port. And I could SSH as David to 192.168.0.213. I'll accept the fingerprint and I can put in my password. And notice I've been able to SSH to myself. So I could SSH to this Raspberry Pi remotely. Now, a thing a lot of people probably wanna check on is can you get access to the internet? I've actually checked that already because I can install packages, but notice I can go to Google, I could go to Ubuntu, I can get access to the internet. Now again, a lot of people probably want to connect to Wi-Fi. You'll notice we prompted by the software updater that updated software has been issued since Ubuntu 23.10 was released. Do we want to install it? It's 92 meg or so, so not too much. So I'll click install to install that software. I personally like to do this kind of stuff through the CLI rather than this way, but you could use the GUI if you prefer. While we're waiting for that, probably something that a lot of people want to do is connect to Wi-Fi. So I can select various Wi-Fi networks. So I'll select free Wi-Fi. And there you go, we are now connected to that Wi-Fi network. At the moment, I'm connected via both wired as well as Wi-Fi to the free Wi-Fi network. You could decide which connection option you prefer, either wired or wireless. But as you can see, our computer updates have been installed. So now I can click restart now to reboot the Rajbi Pi with those updates. A fan has gone off now. Now it's started again. So as you can see with Ubuntu, the fan spins a lot. That's different to my experience using Raspberry Pi OS or even Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi 5. Here the fan is really spinning. Okay, we back again. So let's do a last test. Open up the terminal, make that a bit bigger, ping google.com, ping succeeds. Let's do the test where we unplug the ethernet connector. So ethernet is now unplugged. Only way to get to the internet is via Wi-Fi. So what I'll do is open up a browser here. And as you can see, we are able to get to the internet. So I can go to Google and search for Raspberry Pi as an example, and I could go to the Raspberry Pi website. Okay, so there you go. I've now shown you how to get Ubuntu working on a Raspberry Pi 5. Only thing I don't like is the fan is spinning the whole time with Ubuntu, unlike with Raspberry Pi OS, but if you want to use Ubuntu, there you go. See my other videos where I show you how to install other operating systems on a Raspberry Pi, including Kali Linux. I'm David Bombal. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking it, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I want to wish you all the very best.